All right, happy Tuesday. This is Nick Bates here, and we are going to be talking about custom lists today. Um, so you may have gone into the add edit list under companies where it says company custom lists. So how do we use uh, these company custom lists? So when we click on this, you'll see in here that we have the ability to select the company. And then over here, we have up to 9,909 um, or, or 999, sorry, um, potential custom lists that you can select um, or create. So we're going to just create one list here. And you can see I already have an item in here, test. Um, so I'm going to... Uh, create something called inspection location. Um, so I'll just create a couple different potential um, items here. Um, so two locations, Charleston and Orlando, um, and it's under the ABC company under list number one. And so I'm going to show you how you can attach these lists to an attribute. So that'd be an extended attribute or an event attribute. So if we go into equipment view, you have these attributes over here, right? So in equipment view, let's say you ran out of all of your uh, lab custom fields, your company fields, um, and you needed more fields. Um, we would go to our attribute section and create attributes. Um, so if we go into the preferences section, we have something called system-wide preferences. And in here, we're gonna go to extended attributes. When we click on this, you'll see my two examples. So we can go ahead and delete these and remove that. And then we're gonna create a new one. So if you remember, I wanted to call this inspection location. And now notice how it says field type. So in here, we can choose which field type we want to select. So you have text, you have numeric, you have date. It would even use your add edit lists for your department, employees. And if we come on down, it says company custom list. When we select that, you have something called list number. So we are utilizing the first uh, list in our sequence. Again, you have 999. Um, and that's just for one company. So you could potentially have um, different lists for a bunch of different companies. And so list number one, and then coming on down here, we have the ability for our read only users to hide it. So read only users cannot see this. We can make it visible so they can see it. And then we can also link a field. So this would be for read only users who wanna update a field. And so we are just going to make it a visible attribute. Hit OK, hit OK down here, sync. And then when we go into equipment view, we now have inspection location. If we reload all settings. Now, if we click on here and go to our drop down list, there is Charleston on Orlando. And when I go up to my add edit list, back to company custom lists, you will see that those were my two options. Now, just to show you that one more time um, for workflow configuration, if we go into workflow configuration and you want to create an event attribute, you're going to get a very similar screen. So we go over down here to step 18, go to create a new one. And under field type, you have that same option. So we could pick a specific company custom list. So if you were wanting to create a custom list uh, for a specific uh, extended attribute or event attribute, there you have it. Thank you guys for watching. See you next Tuesday.